Lucilac has officially presented the school feeding program project at the VA4 Primary School. The school feeding program is part of the action plan of St. Lucia's food and nutrition policy. It is being spearheaded by the Ministries of Agriculture, Education, Health and Social Transformation with support from the Government of Brazil and corporate sponsors like Lucilac. Francis Mooney is the school's principal. He says the program will make a vital difference. Ready? In a, in a draft report on the assessment of poverty in St. Lucia in 2006, it reveals that 25.6% of the population of Beaufort was indigent. This means not only did these people fall below the poverty line, but they, they are unable to afford the consumption of nutrients to maintain life. At our school, a large number of parents are unemployed. We have a large number of vulnerable families. And this initiative will definitely, definitely bring a great deal of relief to the parents. Student attendance will definitely improve and parents will no longer be singing the chorus my child cannot come to school. I have nothing at home to give him or her. That will no longer be. The school feeding program project is also part of St. Lucia's response to the zero hunger challenge made by the Secretary General of the United Nations, which was formally launched in St. Lucia on November 3rd, 2014. Agriculture Minister Moses Jabatis believes the program will open up the dialogue about food choices in families. It is easy sometimes to construct many big things and to construct a lot of things. And then when you really check the situation, there are some children who come to school. Sometimes they come to school with food, but what is in the school bag is not enough to, to help them. It's not enough to give them the kind of nutrition that they require to live a healthy life and to read well and so on. So it's very important that we do this. This school, this assistance to, the, to revitalizing and to helping the school feeding program also includes consultations with parents. Because sometimes the parents do, they have the money. But the money, they do not realize that they spend the money to buy the latest shoes and to give the children the latest phones. But they purchase all kinds of food for the children, that is not, the food is not nutritious enough. So I wish to say that sometimes it is not that the parents don't have the money to buy the food, but they are not choosing the correct food. The Lucilec Trust Company Inc. made a commitment to the government of St. Lucia to participate in the strengthening of the school feeding program pilot project. That commitment was made last November. At the time of the launch, Lucilec committed $18,000 towards the establishment of a school garden at the VFO Primary School. That money was spent on the preparation of the garden plot and construction of a greenhouse at the school. Trevor Louise is the managing director. Our initial commitments were to procure and install a greenhouse and to refurbish the school's kitchen. However, once the greenhouse was installed, we quickly realized that it would be necessary to ensure the seedlings were properly irrigated. So we purchased and installed a water tank and an irrigation system for the greenhouse. Similarly, once we had completed the refurbishing of the kitchen, and began making arrangements for this handing over today, we realized that the appliances which would have been provided via other means were not forthcoming. Of course, it would, it would be practically impossible to initiate the school feeding program without the appliances to store and prepare the food. A further request was therefore made to the Lucille Trust, which they approved only last week. I think they only approved it formally yesterday. <laughs> so we've gone beyond our initial commitment and procured those, those appliances. I think it's two stoves, a chest freezer, or a deep freezer, as some of you may call it, and a standing refrigerator to complete the kitchen. In the process, 
We have spent approximately $77,000 to make all of this happen. The Lucilec Trust Company was established in October of 2005 as part of the observance of the company's 40th anniversary in July 2004. Its mandate is to handle all donation at non-profit requests to Lucilec. Since its establishment, the Lucilec Trust has donated just under $4 million to a number of projects across the island.